Well, the Emmy Award winning kids and family series Ghost Rider has gained millions of young fans around the world with its modern take on epic literacy adventures. And the breakout star of its brand new season is a 15 year old Conroe actress. What do I say? There's always a, a Houston, Houston connection. connection. <laughs> and her name is Dara McLeod, who's joining us now to chat about her lead role on this Apple TV Plus series and her bright future. It is so great to meet you. It is so great to meet you guys. I'm so excited to be here because I've watched the show. Show. It's been a staple of my mornings for I have no idea how long. Oh. So it's just so awesome to be here in person. Well, <laughs> we are on, yeah, we're so honored. Yeah. You've done a ton of press for this, but this is your first time doing any kind of like local yeah. press? It's, yeah, it's one of my first times doing these local press shows, and I'm just so excited that this is the first one to start out, starting strong. Derek, you were five years old, we understand, performing in a talent show when you were in kindergarten. Oh and gosh. at that moment, a <laughs> light bulb went off, yeah. and you found your calling. Oh yeah, I think I was singing Do You Want to Build a Snowman at Frozen. I was I was I had like a dress on. I was very like theatrical and I, I was really feeling it and I think that's why I definitely went into like musical theater first and then it graduated into film and TV and where I am today. What is, I mean, how incredible to be able at such a young age to kind of like you said have that light bulb go up. I'm sorry. Look at you. Wow. Oh my god. You are the cutest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. Talk about commanding the stage. I yeah. know. We had to do the sass walk. That was like curtain call. And I remember just my mom and stuff, whenever they were off stage, they were like, just go out and do it. And I'm like, all right. That gives me an excuse to be big and bold and all this stuff. So it was it was so fun doing shows. Like it's that. so great to kind of unleash yourself, right? right? I mean, right. at the ripe age of 10, you found mm -hmm. yourself in New York auditioning for Broadway shows. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, you have to find a way to just kind of like forget about the nerves in those moments and mm -hmm. just go for it. Yeah, you have to really understand that you are there because you're talented enough to be there. You're and, supposed and, to be and there. Exactly. It's, it's a matter of feeling that confidence and being bold enough to just be yourself. And that's my motto, dare to be different. You know, just march to the beat of your own drum. A lot of people might ask you, how do you balance all of these different projects with being a 15 year old, with going to school, <laughs> yeah. with hanging with your family, spending time with friends? How do you do it? Well, I do it because, you know, it's the saying that whenever you do something that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So I've always found that balancing things that I love, like friends and family and acting, it's all equal because I find that way to connect with my friends and family through my passion. It is so awesome. And you still live in Conroe. I oh, mean, you're yeah. not like forgetting where you're from. Mm -hmm. I love that. Texas girl all the way. I <laughs> love it. I love it. Okay, let's talk about Ghost Rider because this is pretty incredible. What a gig you landed. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I remember getting the call that I got it and I dropped to the floor and just was bawling, absolute crying because I knew how important and how amazing this show has already been. And the, the fact that I get to be revamping the show in a new way is incredible. Okay, and let's talk about some of the images, the clips from the show we're seeing on our screen right now, because you take acting to a new level when you are dealing with scenarios that are, I mean, you're dealing with computer animated objects mm -hmm. that when you're shooting the scene aren't actually there. Yeah. So in addition to acting alongside your, your peers, these other actors, what is that like when you have like the animated lion and, and the animated characters we're seeing? Oh yeah, I mean, it was amazing because we would act to these, uh, to literally nothing. We'd act a tennis ball I'm not even lying or a piece of tape on the wall and I was we were like okay this is where the imagination comes in <laughs> yeah it was it was just it was crazy to be acting with someone that you didn't even know was going who it was going to be because we were never told who the actors were going to be so whenever we got the breakdown saying it's Jean Smart and and it's it's no way yeah, oh my gosh Randall we Park, love her we were like Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. that is so awesome. Let's talk yeah. about your character, Charlie, described as a bit of a firecracker, oh. kind of like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely, I definitely relate to her in a lot of ways because we both march to the beat of our own drums. We're very outspoken. Sometimes we talk a little too much, but it's only because we have the best things to say. And we're definitely similar because we constantly try to defend the people that we love and we're always willing to think quick on our feet and just go for it. I want to go to your church. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> where did you shoot the show? We shot the show in Toronto in the beginning of 2021. Yes, in the beginning of 2021. Wow, and what's that like? I mean, going from the production process, and obviously you, you know the, the premise of what's going down in the series, but mm -hmm. to actually be able to stream it and watch the show back for you now, oh. how was that experience? Yeah, I, I just, I remember seeing myself on screen and just not connecting the dots. Like, I could You're never. like, is that really me? Yeah, I was like, also because I shot this when I was about 13, so that was how old I was. And I and I look at myself, I'm like. Who is that baby? Who is that child? <laughs> that child. <laughs> A child actress. The child, yeah, put the emphasis on child actress. Because I just, it was crazy watching myself because I, it just clicked in my head the second that I saw, I'm like, wow. I actually did it. I'm on screen and I'm doing what I love. It just, it was incredible to click. You know? it, it is really, I mean, clearly you're so talented and it's so lovely at such a young age and, and where you are today to, for all of it to come to fruition. Mm -hmm. The other thing what I think is really great about you is that you're getting all this success but you're not leaving anybody else behind. And let's talk about your charitable um, organization that you're with because it's all about uh, how you give back and your passion to read. Yeah. I, I also think that was the main reason I was so excited to join Ghostwriter is because there's such an emphasis on literacy yeah. and, and reading. So I was able to not only explore my passion through philanthropy, but also explore my passion on screen. And that's why I started Dare to Read, because I wanted to create a charity that can put a book in the hands of any kid who wants one, because reading is a superpower, and it can take us anywhere. It truly is magical. Yeah, it inspires our imagination. And mm -hmm. I understand you organized a book drive, encouraging yeah. people to bring in books. How many books were you able to collect and distribute? We were able to, with the help of Love Heals Youth, which is an incredible charity helping foster kids from going from home to home. And we managed to get around 100 books to donate and put in these kids' welcome baskets, which is, I just, I was job on the floor, absolutely. It's great. Blown away. Really okay, cool. also, you're a singer? Yeah. Musical what? theater background. I know, I know. you've got to be. <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a single that is out now. It's called Hey Honey, and it's a country anthem. It's roll your windows down on a beautiful day and scream at the top of your lungs with your favorite people. And I, I really, I wanted this, I felt like I was going to connect perfectly with my Texas people and just people all over the world because it puts a smile on your face. Okay, busy, and you're recording your brand new album soon? Oh, right? yeah. It's, all the stuff is coming out now. We're gonna be, we have Hey Honey, which is the first, and then the next, which is exclusive. And so you're hearing it first here. Hey. Uh, Learn to Count, it's gonna be my next one, and it's kind of a, a more electronic feel. It's gonna be really cool, and then we're gonna start branching out, and the album will expand Ooh. from there. Oh, I like how it. How about a Hey Houston Life? I could see that as being a very I like popular it. track. <laughs> yeah. Darren McLeod, it's great to see you. Congrats <laughs> on all your success. Thank you so much. It was so great talking to you. Yeah, come back and visit us anytime. By the way, Ghost Rider is streaming now exclusively on Apple TV+. Plus. If you'd like to connect with Dare, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. All right, still ahead. Need a dress for an event coming up from prom to holiday parties and much more. We're going to share where you can shop hundreds of dresses and affordable styles. I think I may need a costume change. Back in a wedding gown? I don't know. Okay, that would be great. Stay tuned for that.